How to order the service. In this tutorial, we are going to teach you how to order the service and how to fill the details. Step number one, order the package. To order your package, the first thing you need to do is enter pricing in the top menu. There are three different types of packages that you can choose from in order to suit the needs of each type of business. They include the following, basic package, and this is the best choice for starter radios that wish to start reaching the mobile options. This package includes one app type, iPhone app, Android app, tablet, or iPad. Then you have the smart combo package, and this is mainly suitable for medium-sized radio stations. It includes two app types, iPhone and Android phone, as well as a mix between iPad and tablet. Finally, you have the full house package, and this one is the perfect choice for big radio stations that wish to attract all types of listeners. This package contains all the four types of apps. For all the three packages available, you will be able to choose between the two different payment options, which are monthly payment and yearly payment. The yearly payments plan also provides you with great discounts as well as upgrades and updates. After you decide which package you wish to choose, you need to click on the Buy Now button. This will make the following page to open. Step number two, choosing the options. When the page opens for you, you have the option to decide whether to add a designer touch to it. If you choose this option, you will need to pay $50 for this. But it is a fee that you will only be required to pay once, and it is highly recommended to choose this option. The designer will build an icon and banner and will also choose the best color for your app. Another option that is available is the AdMob integration. For this option, you will be required to pay $199, which is a one-time fee. Step number three, choosing the app. You will be required to choose the type of app that you want. The type of app will also vary depending on the package that you chose in the first step, as follows. For the basic package, you will need to choose one app type. For the smart combo package, you will need to choose two app types. For the full house package, you don't need to choose anything, as all the four apps are included and we will create them for you. After you finish, you need to click on the continue button and then either fill in all your details or log in if you already have an account with us. Step number four, the payment. You need to choose the payment method and make the payment for the package of your choice. The payment represents your subscription, which means that after a year, the system will automatically send you the invoice to get the payment as long as this is possible. After you do the payment and it is approved, you will get your login details by email. You will need to use these details in the account control panel. Step number five, the radio app setup. After your first login, the radio app setup page will open and it looks like this. This page is important because your app will be created depending on what you fill in the form. Although you can change app name, radio description, and radio tags later on, it means that you will submit your app again, and it is possible that we will charge you with additional payment for doing this. Step number six, how to fill in the app form. Here is how you need to fill in the fields. One, app name, and this is the name of the app as it will appear in the Play Store and App Store. We suggest to check that the name you want is free and no one is using it. In case the name is already taken, you can add the word radio or station to your name so that you can use it. 2. Radio Description This is the description that appears in the store. It's what the potential listeners will read before downloading the app. The description needs to be very detailed and must be a minimum 400 characters. It can be also in several languages. 3. Radio tags. It is very important to fill as many tags as possible, as it will help your app to appear in the correct search terms and thus it will bring more new listeners to your application. The radio tags need to be separated by comma. 4. Template. 
There are currently two types of apps, light and dark. It depends on the top banner image. If it is a dark image, we suggest to use the dark template. And of course, if it is a bright banner, we suggest to use the light template. 5. Top bar color. Top bar color is a hexa code and it represents the color of the bar above the banner image. It can be changed later on again. 6. Logo or banner upload. The logo or banner is the image that appears under the top bar. The image must be of 1024 times 800 pixels in size, in GPG or PNG form, and weight smaller than 200 kilobytes, as there is gradients, half transparency, with the background. The logo will look smooth in the template. After the app will be approved, we will be able to add more channels and upload a banner for each channel. 7. App Icon The size must be 1024 times 1024 pixels in GPG or PNG type. This is the icon that appears in the menu of the mobile phone. Notice that in Apple devices the icon receives round edges. 8. iPhone or Android Splash Screen this is an optional field and can be filled later on. It is the image that appears immediately when you start the app. The size is 1136 times 640 pixels. 9. iPad or Tablet Splash Screen It is an optional field and the image can be uploaded after the app will be approved. The size is 2048 times 1,536 pixels. 10. Channel name, and this is your radio name. 11. Stream type, and this is the type of the stream. In case you don't know it, ask your radio provider. The options are Shoutcast V1, Shoutcast V2, and Icecast V2. 12. Channel IP and channel port for Shoutcast 1. If it is Shoutcast 2, you will need to fill also the stream ID. If it is Icecast 2, then in addition to IP and port, you will need to fill Mount Point. Notice that the radio station must work when the app is being approved. If the radio does not work, the app won't be approved by Apple. Also notice that you will have the option to add more channels after the app will be approved. After you correctly fill in all the details, they will be sent to us as that we can check them. If everything is correct, we will submit the app. In case anything is not clear or there are missing details, we will contact you. Notice that Apple approval may take between 1 and 2 weeks, and Android approval may take between 3 and 7 days. After you will get the approval, we will send you the link or your app in our store. Please test it and send us email about any crash or problem that you observe.